Hey guys, Chris Ward from the Everett Petroleum Golf and Country Club here with another great tip for you today. We've got a rainy day here at the B Club, so I got a really fitting drill for you. It's called the umbrella drill. This is a great drill for those of you that struggle with weight uh, and distance control with their putting. And one of the biggest things that I see with amateur golfers they struggle with is getting the golf over the hole. And then they're kind of too scared to make the comeback or if they hit it past the hole. So what I have set up here, it's kind of like a semicircle set up behind the golf hole here. It's kind of in the shape of an umbrella hood, similar to the one that's above my head right now. And I got a varying distance here, about two paces in between each section there. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the drill here. This is a great thing to do as a warm up before you're around, or even if you're just looking for a game you could practice with. That's a great option here. So this is how you do it. So all you're gonna need for this drill is a few tees, kind of set up in that semicircle like I was saying. I roughly space them out two to three feet apart behind the golf hole there. You're gonna go roughly four paces to this one and then two paces in between all the other ones after. This is kind of just played by ear. You can make them farther or shorter, depending on the amount of time you have to do this drill. You could go as far back as this other one way back here. I've done this drill even to the full length of this putting green. So you really get creative with this one, but definitely a great drill to kind of help you with distance control with the putter and get more golf balls in that umbrella behind the hole. You're gonna start at this station here. And if you get it inside of the umbrella, you get to move one station back. So let's see how I do here. So you see that one's in the umbrella, so I get to go one station back here. And if you make it like that, you actually get to go two stations back. So now you're going to start to notice there's some pressure you're going to start feeling when you start to make these putts. So we're a little farther back now. Another pretty good putt there, so that's in there, and I get to keep moving back. Once you start to get really good at this drill, you should have no issue making these from like 40, 50 feet away. So let's go see how I do. and the more pressure you're gonna to start to feel. If you miss any of these putts, so let's say I just missed this next putt here, and I blast this thing past the hole, just like that. I would have to go back all the way to the start here and redo it, okay? You can do this as far back as you want. You can make your circle as small as you want, but the, uh, the smaller the circle and the farther back, the harder this is gonna get. You're gonna to start to feel like it's easier to get the golf out of the hole and you're gonna start making more putts. Thanks for stopping in, guys.